empty pack of gum and it magically rebuilds. One, two, three. And it appears back on. The car turns completely invisible. One, two, three. And a cake magically appears. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you five visual magic tricks for kids. Check it out, I have an empty packet of gum here. You can see there are no pieces left. Watch what happens on the count of three. One, two, three. And gum magically reappears inside the packet. One of these. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Here is what you're going to need to set this trick up. You need two identical packets of gum. The brand that I have found that works well with this is Dentine Ice Gum. It comes with two of these packets, so you really only need to buy one pack of gum. And then you're going to empty out one of the packets. And you want to make sure that you pop the little plastic pieces back out. Your next step is to remove all of the plastic from the back of your empty gum packet. Now that you have the plastic removed from the back of this packet, you're going to take the other packet and you're going to line it up just like this. We want it to be able to fold up into it just like so. So we're going to take a piece of tape and we're going to use this tape to make a hinge. So now that you've stuck the piece of tape in place, you've got this right here. It's a little hinge like this that will allow you to make the gum seemingly appear in this empty pack. Now very often performing magic is about the angle at which the viewer sees it from. In this case, they need to be watching it from the front. If they see it from the side angle, this trick will not work. So this is the angle that you want to present it to the audience from. You can see that there's no gum inside the packet and this part is completely hidden from the audience's view. So then all we need to do to make it look like gum appears in the packet is flip this up into this position. But this big move of flipping it up and twisting it around covers that motion of it flipping up. So you can create this at home and try it yourself. Once you get the hang of flipping this up and just rotating it around as you press that in, it becomes very easy to perform. Watch, you're gonna hold the card like this very openly. Watch as I pass it behind these fingers. Look what happens to the card. It turns completely invisible just like that. Okay, here is the secret to the magic invisible card trick. Check this out. It is a piece of plastic just like this that is the exact same size as the playing card. It's like the hard plastic packaging that comes around video games, electronic equipment, and you're just going to cut that out into this shape that is the exact same size as the playing card. And then you're also going to need a roll of tape. A lot of the time magic just comes down to a roll of tape. This is kind of the same technique as the gum trick. We're going to use the tape to make a hinge. And we're gonna line this up to where the card and the plastic are perfectly aligned And then we're going to fold the tape over to finish our hinge. So this is the setup This is what you want to create for the trick and you can keep this and use it over and over You're gonna put two fingers on your hand like this and curl the others in now You're going to take the card and slide it in between your two fingers just like this without the plastic layer You're gonna let that hang loose now from the side angle Obviously they can see what's happening. You want to make sure they're viewing it from from the front. So from the front, it should look like this, where the card and the top half is visible, but at the bottom, it just looks like an invisible piece of plastic. So try out this cool card trick at home and let me know your results. All right, Ava, check this out. So I have a little cake pan here. You can see it's empty, nothing in there. Watch what happens. So I take a little bit of magic dust and I sprinkle it in there. We got our magic dust in the pan. Watch what happens when I put the lid on. One, two, three, and a cake magically appears. That what? dust wasn't even real. <laughs> you want a piece? Okay, here is the secret of the magic appearing cake. This is really easy to do, and it's so cool and visual. This is the magical apparatus to perform the trick. The real key to this trick is that this cake is actually made of squishy sponge, so it can compress down like this, so it fully compresses down like this, and then when you open the pan, it pops up. Now this starts out in this little tray, and it gets hidden in the lid 
of the pan just like this. You can see there's some little clips on the inside of the lid. Those are going to contact the edge of this pan right here and it's gonna hold it inside the lid. You're gonna load it just like this. The sponge compresses and the lid clicks into place just like that. Now you have the base and the lid just like this. You present it to the audience. Take the lid, place it on the base and when you lift the lid off, the cake will just instantly pop up just like that. A trick that is super easy to perform and a really amazing visual. Now you might be wondering, hey Evan, how do I perform this trick at home? I don't have that apparatus. Well, stay tuned for the end of this video. I'm going to give away a magic appearing cake to one lucky comment. Watch the cap of the bottle. One, two, three. And it appears back on just like that. Here is the secret to the magic bottle cap trick. You're going to need two bottles and you're going to cut one of them and just remove this top part. You can set this part aside as you won't need it for the trick. You're also going to need a broken or cut piece of rubber band, a duplicate bottle cap, and one empty bottle like this. And this one empty bottle we're gonna set aside while we prepare this. Your next step is to put a small hole in your false top. You want it just big enough that you can put the rubber band through it and tie it in a knot. The next thing we'll need is a safety pin and we're going to tie the other end of the rubber band through the safety pin like this. Now we want to attach this to our belt loop or inside our coat. So once you have the rubber band attached, it should have tension on it when you hold it in your performance space to when you let go of it, it will pop out of the audience's view. Will... Now all we're going to do is take our false top that's on the rubber band pole and hold it on top of the capped bottle. We're going to position our hand so that it hides the top of the bottle with the cap on it. So in this position, it should look like the top of the bottle has no cap on it like this because we're just holding it in place with our hands so we're gonna hold it just like that and then to make the top of the bottle vanish we're just going to let go and it will pop behind our back you're gonna then bring your hand down to show that the cap of the bottle is now on and here is where the other cap comes into play you're gonna be holding it in the other hand and at the same time that you let the false top go you're going to bring this cap over to the side of the bottle you're gonna keep it in what's known as a finger palm you're gonna keep it right here in your hand and then just keep it there as you catch drop your hand down. Okay, check it out, Ava. I have a coin on top of this playing card on top of the glass. Yes. Watch what happens when I tap the coin with the spoon. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And the coin goes right through How the card. There's no hole in the card. I don't. How did you? Okay, here is the secret to performing the coin through the card trick. So two things at play here. This is the first one. We have a little magnet stuck to the bottom of this spoon. This is a little button magnet right here and we have a magnetic coin that will stick to it. Now, if you're in the USA, a Canadian quarter works very well for this. Ask your parents, they might have one. So we're gonna stick the little magnet to the bottom of the spoon and our magnetic coin is going to go right on top of the card. That is a Ferris coin. That means it will stick to a magnet. So when you bring the spoon down and tap it, it looks like it just magically disappears from the top. Now you want to make sure the audience doesn't see this as you set the spoon down on the table. The other half of the trick is how do you make the coin look like it appears in the glass at the same time. The secret is stuck to the back of this card. You're going to take a little bit of a glue stick and use it to press the quarter onto the back of the card and it will just temporarily stick in place there to where when you tap it with the spoon, the coin will fall off the car. So two things are happening at once. The magnet and the spoon are picking up the quarter on top and the quarter underneath the card is getting deployed into the glass. It's getting unstuck from the glue with the same tap. So as you bring the spoon down and tap the card, it looks like the coin just penetrates right through this card. An amazingly visual coin trick that anyone can do. Okay, that is it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more How To Magic videos just like this, and we post a new one every single week. Be sure to check out EvanEraTV.com. That is our online magic shop. We have a lot of really cool magic tricks, super easy stuff that kids can do. Hoodies and beanies, perfect for winter time. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away the magic cake pan trick to one lucky comment in the comment section. All you have to do to win, leave a comment on the video. I'll be going through the comment section, reading all of your comments, and picking one lucky winner and mailing the magic to you. It's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Be sure to send your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing, and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.